welcome back to our channel. I'm Becca and I share this channel with my best friend Sophie. So just a bit of background, Sophie went to the University of Birmingham and studied law and I went to the University of Warwick, hence WBS, Warwick Business School, and I studied accounting and finance. I graduated in 2020, so I went there from 2017 to 2020 and I graduated with a first class honours. So hopefully this video will be helpful if you're thinking about going to Warwick or if you do go to Warwick Business School and just give you a bit, a bit of an insight. So I studied an undergraduate degree, so that's what I'll be basing most of this on. But if you go to the description, I'll put the timestamps in. So if you did want to look at like master's courses or postgraduates, you can skip to the bits that are more relevant there. So to start with, I wanted to talk to you a bit about the undergraduate modules and courses. The courses that they offer, obviously accounting and finance, like I did. Um, they also offer management which is equivalent to like business and with management you can do management with finance, management with marketing. I think a couple of my friends as well did like law and business so you can like mix the two as well. There's lots of different options. There's also international management which is where you do the exact same course but you get to do a year abroad as well which is very exciting and you can do like sandwich years or placement years. So yeah lots of different options with regards to the actual courses that you take. My friends have done all of them basically, all the different options, so yeah, very exciting. With regards to modules, in first year, to be honest, most people do the same modules regardless of course. I did the same as my friends that were doing management, and then actually in like second and third year, you do pretty similar modules too. So in first year, the reason why I picked for it, to be honest, was because there was such a diverse range of modules that you get to do. So I did 10 modules in first year. I did one on economics, one on like accounting, uh, management accounting, there's one called core practice which everyone from WBS does, I think except law and business, uh, they don't do it, but everyone else does and that's a really interesting module, very unique to Warwick. So what you do for that is you literally go into like a drama studio kind of thing. Uh, you take your shoes off and it's very much about like, you know, your presentation skills, your people skills, and it's building on those like soft skills as well as obviously all the academic skills that you learn at university. And your whole year do it and you get to meet loads of friends that way. So it's a lot more interactive and less you sit down in a classroom, it's not like that at all. You also get the option to pick modules from other schools as well. Maybe not in your first year, but definitely in your second and third year. So a couple of my friends did maths modules, some of them did languages modules so yeah there's, there's lots of choice there definitely so I wouldn't worry about that I think to be honest the modules and the courses were definitely the highlights or some of the highlights of the university with regards to the placement of Warwick Business School or WBS I speak about the placement of the university generally a bit in my University of Warwick video but for WBS specifically it's kind of on the outside of the campus but it's an absolutely beautiful building which I'll talk more about in a bit. It's very close to Sherbourne and also to Heron Bank. it's got the beautiful lake right next to it, a really good location to be honest um, if you are living in Sherbourne like I did. Regarding the people, so your peers and your classmates, it's very diverse and that's an amazing point about University of Warwick as well but specifically the Warwick Business School you know because it's such a world-renowned business school a lot of people do gravitate towards it come from like all different countries and everything so yeah it's very diverse to prove that in one of my modules core practice it's like an icebreaker we had to get in a line from where we like came from like where we lived at home uh, from the closest to the university and the furthest away. So I'm from Nottingham, so I was actually the closest to the university, which is kind of unsurprising as it's only like an hour drive or an hour 15 drive from where I live to the university. But there are only three or four of us from the UK, which I thought was amazing because obviously at school, you know, I went to just very normal state school. There wasn't that much diversity. So I'm half Chinese, probably one of the most diverse at my school. So yeah, it was amazing to go from that to going to university where it was so diverse, you know, you could learn so much about different cultures and about different people. So yeah, really interesting. And it's reflected as well in the teaching staff too. So you get lots of different perspectives, which maybe you wouldn't have normally got, especially if you came from a school like mine, that, you know, everyone just grew up there, you know, no one was international or anything at all. So yeah, that was an, an amazing point about Warwick Business School, very, very diverse. Then regarding career events, the careers team were absolutely incredible. I cannot stress that enough. Like they were so good. So you, they used to have like career workshops where they teach you like about how to write CV or about LinkedIn and things like that. But also they did like specific one-to-one -one sessions as well, which was really, really good. So you could take your CV in, or to do your application there with them, get their advice on, you know, how to structure it or like what to include, 
what not to include, how many pages, you know, all of that. Sophie and I have actually done a CV video on our channel, so we'll link that below as well. But yeah, generally they just gave amazing career advice and I could highly, highly recommend them. They also held career events as well. So they did so at the university, but also specifically in WBS, they held career events and you get to go around all the different stalls and they used to have it in like the atrium kind of area on the bottom floor. And then sometimes as well, they'd hold um, career events in the big lecture rooms. So you could go like listen to speeches about like the big companies mainly that was so I think I went one for L'Oreal I think I went for one but yeah they were absolutely incredible highly recommend okay and then finally a bit more about the building so like I mentioned before you know it's a very very modern building on the edge of campus beautiful location you get some really good sunsets there by the lake and everything it's all pretty much brand new I mean I think it was built like a few years before I went there but everything just feels really new comparing it to like the humanities building which seems like really old you know all the desks are old or the chairs are old it's not like that at all it seems very modern and up-to-date there's amazing lecture theatres and some of them even have like desks where they've got like chairs either side so you can do like group work in the lecture halls and all the like seminar rooms and everything are really good but bearing mind that you may not always be in the business school I think it's mainly like postgraduates and like later years um, where you are actually in the business school for all of yours so I was for some and others was not Speaking of undergraduates and postgraduates, there are also designated areas like an undergraduate hub and a postgraduate hub. So different rooms where you can sit, you can have your lunch, you can do group work. There's lots of booths, loads of tables, loads of people studying there too. Sometimes it is very loud and chatty and sociable. And then towards exam season, you know, it's very focused and calm. We used to even go in at the weekend sometimes because the collaborative space was so good and they have little TVs on the wall. So you can plug your laptop in and do like group presentations with that. They have group rooms that you can book as well and then the postgraduate room as well it's got loads of computers there too it's very quiet in there I've never really been in there properly obviously I was an undergraduate it looks very nice from the outside there's also like a coffee machine and also like a cantina cafeteria as well which does lots of Asian cuisine so it does like dim sum and things like that which was amazing they also did like normal like school lunch kind of vibe as well but obviously it was really nice food and like grab and go like pat lunches too so like wraps and sandwiches and things like that and also like cake and coffee basically everything that you could want and also whilst we're on the subject of food there was like little kitchens as well so in the undergraduate space they had like their own kitchen which had like a sink a hot water tap you know like a kettle microwave basically again everything that you'd need so what we used to do is bring like leftover chili or curry in like those little tupperware that you can press to like heat up in the microwave so we'd bring that in then bring in microwave rice and then just like split that between us and that was so good to have the facilities to do that because you're not just having like sandwiches every single day as lovely as they are sometimes you know especially during exam season you want something a bit more exciting food wise and obviously again it's like a short walk to campus and there's lots of things on campus there's the bread oven on campus which is kind of like a similar vibe to subway but a lot nicer there's also a pret on campus and like loads of other different like restaurants kind of proper sit-in places as well and there's also a couple of pubs close and you're also really close to Tesco but yeah I hope you found that useful just like a quick run through of WBS for at business school um, I, I think it's amazing to be honest the facilities that they had were really good especially compared to like the other blocks in the university I think they were particularly good obviously you're always gonna have some lecturers that you like more than others but on the most part I thought they were really good and always like got back to you and everything I thought the seminar tutors were really good again so some of them were like PhD students and some of them were at your actual lecturers. I definitely speak to other people that have been there if you've got specific questions or put them in the comments below as well. You know, I'd love to chat with you guys and share my experiences even more. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed.